Hello, in this lecture we're going to record a transaction for which work has been done. Payment has not yet been received in cash. We basically have an IOU. We're going to record this in terms of the accounting equation. The accounting equation being assets equal liabilities plus equity. It's important to remember what type of assets are, what type of accounts are asset accounts, what type of accounts are liabilities accounts, what type of accounts are equity accounts. For example, assets include cash, accounts receivable, and supplies as asset type accounts. Liability account includes accounts payable, the main one we'll be focusing with for quite some time. Then the owner's equity, equity section will include the capital account as well as the entire income statement, income statement including revenue and expenses, in this case wages, expenses, utilities, expenses. If we have a transaction where we have done work and haven't yet received the cash, we are going to recognize the asset of the receivable, the IOU. We're going to put that IOU on the book. So is cash affected? No, but we do have an IOU that is worth something because we basically have a contract to receive it in the future. Therefore, we're going to say that the IOU, the asset, is going to go up. What will be the other side of the transaction? Remember that every transaction is going to have at least two accounts affected. Why are people going to pay us in the future? Because we earned revenue. We did work and therefore we earned revenue. Revenue is going to be over here in the equity section. And we probably know that revenue goes up. It really only goes up. It only goes up in the, in one direction. Revenue doesn't generally go down. Expenses will bring equity down, but revenue generally just goes up. We also know it's going to go up because if this side of the accounting equation went up, this side of the accounting equation will have to go up as well. So what we have then is we're going to say that the accounts receivable is going to go up by that 10,000, bringing the assets up. The other side we said was going to be revenue over here, and therefore that's going to bring up the equity side. Liabilities will remain the same, and therefore our accounting equation is still in, in balance with the left side going up with assets going up on the receivable, and the right side going up with the equity going up in terms of revenue. Also important note that net income is going up as well. Why? Because revenue minus expenses is net income, and that is increasing by that same 10000